All right, hey guys, we are back here, hole number seven guide for you guys. And what I usually do for this one um, on the rookie tees is more of a guardian backspin shot. If you guys watched the shootout, it was either hole four, hole five, might have been hole five. Um, I wound up on shootout on this hole, and we're going to use a very similar approach um, for our normal way to play this. I bring guardian because it has backspin. So even if you have it unlocked as a two, it's going to be good enough to do what I'm going to use it for. You might just need to bring like a power one ball, for instance, but Guardian is going to be the club um, without a doubt. And as I mentioned, you know, even if it's an earlier level, like mine actually is, I think I have a Guardian 4 too. So both of us here have Guardian 4s, and that's going to be what I uh, recommend for you guys. Um, but I just don't recommend doing it the way that my opponent did. So pay attention to um, the way that I go about this. And I think you guys will give yourself, you know, a possible hole-in-one attempt. But at the very least, you know, you'll have a very easy tap-in birdie. So the first thing that I do is I just kind of, you know, right around five backspin. You can see what I'm doing with my guide. I keep it a little bit short of the hole. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And, uh, you know, shorten to the right just slightly. Um, keep it in mind that after this wind affects it, it will push slightly. And I play close to 1.7 per ring here. I'm looking at maybe about a ring and a half here for my ring adjustment. And there you can see I catch a perfect ball. So let's see how this bounces. So far it looks pretty good, but here you can see that it just shoots off towards the left. So I'll make the necessary tweaks and maybe I'll just start my setup just a tiny bit right um, for you know future rounds. And with just that little bit and maybe just a tiny, maybe five and a quarter on the backspin there. Um, and that's one of the good things about Guardian is even at a very early level, say a two it already has that nice backspin and it's basically the only club the only wood club early on that gives you that right out of the gate so if you guys ever see me coming up um, in the early tours um, as I did with this account as I did with you know my other two accounts you'll see me use Guardian all the way up until I get a sniper eight for example um, because of that backspin boost quality. You can see that I can just put in that Guardian backspin shot and always stop the ball close like that. I just utilize the backspin, you know, to my advantage. <clears throat> and let's see what we can do here. I'm going to play it very similarly to what you guys saw me do in the shootout. So you can see kind of my setup. The only difference, since I don't have a headwind, is I'm going to... And here I might go pretty close to five rings, a little bit of an overplay. But additionally, keep in mind that I'm not putting topspin on here because I don't have a tailwind. And I expect it to just kind of run through a little bit slower. Here it does. And you can see I didn't need the topspin. It's still coming in just a little bit hot. So overall, not too bad. But uh, within three yards there. <clears throat> and here you can see my opponent has a claw and you can work similarly just keep in mind um, you know you have to kind of model my spin no matter what club so here you can see my opponent he's putting top spin on that means that means the ball's going to come in hotter than what you saw mine do um, and it will probably roll down the hill so even though he doesn't have the guide and you know he's using the same club you know, you have to you have to be thinking about these things. Um, whatever you see me do in my shootout, just kind of model my spin. And if you have a similar wind, you know, just kind of go about replicating that. That's going to give you. It doesn't matter what your ball guide is. Doesn't matter. You know, you just universally, whether it's you know claw or hornet, thorn, um, it doesn't matter. Um, you're just going to kind of model my spin and my landing zones so just something food for thought something to think about and uh in any regard you know good luck with that uh 
seventh hole guys and be on the lookout for hole eight coming up